Hello loves, this is Live Right Now. Today I'm coming to you with this DIY inspired by the beautiful artwork that I see on zgallery.com and also here on a YT. But of course my rendition is going to be a fraction of the cost. If you want to know how I got my look, you know what you got to do. Keep watching. Here is the supplies you will need to complete this project, but I did want to take this opportunity to mention that I did see this idea from another YouTuber. Her name is Lacey Lace, and I will add a link to her look down below. Hers was all silver, but I wanted mine to be silver and gold. So you can pick whatever color you want to make it your own. Okay, here I'm showing you the motions that I used when I sprayed on this metallic gold spray paint. Because I did this outside. Please, if you can help it, do not use the spray paint inside the house. It will be strong and you will regret it. Okay, I'm going to take these foam brushes that I got from the Dollar Tree. This silver paint from Martha Stewart. I will leave all the detail information down below. And I just put a little dab of silver paint on this blank canvas and just in case you're wondering no i have no painting experience at all i've never done anything like this before ever but i just make sure that i watched um to make sure that whatever i was doing on one i did on the other well, at least i tried to the best of my ability they don't have to match perfectly but they should be similar and so right now i'm just doing up and down feather light motions with this foam brush okay now that you can see now that i went over to the second canvas i did speed it up but i just wanted to show you how i put them side by side so i can make sure for the most part that they are similar now I'm taking this gold metallic paint and using the same motion. I added this gold paint just in case you wonder why I did the gold on gold. It's because to me, the it wasn't blending well enough. It was too prominent in the contrast between the silver and gold. And I wanted it to look more blended. So I just came up with the idea of just adding this um, gold paint. And I even go in later on where you will see where I use a padding motion. Just try it. Have fun and see how it turned out and then after I add this gold paint I go back in with the silver again because I want to make sure that the line is not so prominent it kind of remind me of doing makeup where you just wanted to make sure that the lines are not too harsh <laughs> Okay, this is phase one completed, and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, I wanted to mention, make sure you cover your workspace. I am going to be sanding this table down and doing another DIY, so I wasn't as concerned about the table. But make sure that you cover your work surface. Well, as you can see, I went a little ham with the Mod Podge, but hey, I'm going to work it out. After I make sure that this Mod Podge is spread it evenly, and that, again, is next to the other canvas, so I can see that the um, distance that I pulled the Mod Podge down is similar. And I use a little matting, padding motions like I did with the gold paint, and then I'm going to sprinkle glitter on top. Okay, this is after adding all the glitter on the one on the left 
It's still wet, so you can kind of see the white of the Mod Podge, but that will dry clear. And the one on the right has dried completely, and as you can see, that sparkle is beautiful. And after the glitter set for a while, I'm just taking the time to shake off the excess glitter that will fall off. But this time I did put something under the picture so that I can be able to take the excess glitter and put it back in the container so I can use it again for other projects. And I just wanted to give you a side by side view to show you how it looks extremely similar. And here we are with the end result. I really love the way that they turned out. And I know me, if I walk past and see something that I would want to make better or want to add or take away, you can go back and forth. It's up to you. But these, turned to me, turned out so beautiful. I'm pleased with them. These two pictures are going to be on top of my bar cart. That uh, tutorial, I mean, sorry, that DIY is coming soon. I'm so excited to show you. All the things that I have been doing, if you have any questions, of course, leave them down below. If you like the way these turned out, please do not forget to click that like button, share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I love you guys, and as always, be your own kind of beautiful, because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye.